I'm every evil thought you have. Come, son of Drell, kneel before two cousins drinking. And today we're two cousins drinking Alluvium, California Pilsner from Seismic Brewing. Yeah, we are. Indeed. Nice golden Pilsner color. Yes. I had absolutely uh, no emotions or thoughts about drinking this beer, and as soon as I poured it, that looks refreshing, and I want to drink some. Smelling ahead of you. I kind of smell some hops. Sort of that bready... Yeah. Bready stuff going on there. Grassy. When you shake it, it gets kind of grassy. Sort of like a hula dancer. Cheers. Cheers. Hmm. That is, it's crisp, light, and refreshing, but there's... Uh, there's one major thing going on here. It's a Pilsner, but there's a little stuff going on there just under the surface. Just enough to make it interesting. Got more hoppy, definitely. If you don't like hops, you'll still like it. If you do like hops, you'll you'll really like it. Yeah, if you're not a Pilsner drinker this, and you're more of a hoppy IPA guy, this is your Pilsner to try. 5% ABV, 45 IBUs. 4.5 SRM, Greg. Seismic was founded in Santa Rosa, California, by three gentlemen in 2015. Christopher Jackson, Patrick Delves, and Andy Hooper. I would constantly, if I worked with somebody named, with the last name Hooper, I'd constantly scream their last name like Quint in Jaws. Hooper! <laughs> Seismic Brewing came up with that name because they're from Northern California and they have lots of earthquakes. And also because this team will be a powerful creative force within the world of brewing. That statement makes me want to discuss briefly their website, if I may. Yeah. Did you look at the About Us page? Briefly. It, it reads like something that was created by committee. They had a meeting, and they used they put all these ideas with, with generic uh, sort of mission statements, but it was all these generic platitudes and they put them all into a paragraph and if you actually think about it it's saying nothing specific it's somewhere in their uh, in their about us they have all their employees listed with pictures and their title so one of the founders is up front and center uh, president or whatever and then one of them's pretty close and then they have like 20 or 30 employees and for some reason one of the founders is like on the bottom i want your numbers well i'm enjoying this 99 and i want another one uh, 100 I'm enjoying this a 85, and a, but I do want another one a 95. Kneel before Zod. Little uh, Oompa Loompa with some ice in his hands, just rubbing your glass. Okay. Okay. After your violently aggressive pour, we have made it to drink two. Smells delightful. Mm -hmm. I'm getting a grassy smell this time. Would you like to delve into their marketing or discuss Pilsners in general? Let's start with Pilsners in general. Seismic says this is a German style Pilsner. I'm guessing what makes it California Pilsner is the hops. Fair bet, yeah. California, West Coast, hops, all kind of. Pilsner is a pale lager, Greg. That's what you really want to know. And it mm -hmm. takes its name from the Czech city of Pilsen, which I know we've discussed before. American Pilsners normally have a lower sweet malt flavor than their European counterparts. Or I can tell you, this can is pretty cool. I uh, am on the other end of that. I didn't like. I don't like this uh, hippie, hippie art type thing. There it reminded me of the Fremont Troll from Seattle. I always, I thought he was a tree. He's rocks. So oh, he's rocks. Let me tell you why he's rocks. He's alluvium, which is well, he could be dirt, I guess. Alluvium, Greg, alluvium is the rich sediments found in the Russian River of Sonoma County, which would be what you squish your toes in when you walk in. I like it. I like it. It's flat. There's no shine to it. <laughs> it's a rock man with water flowing over him. As I said before, their website needs a little more actual personality and not just generic garbage. Greg, I'm going to go to their website right now, and I think I can call out 
whoever is responsible for all this. Director of... Oh, it's one of the founders. The guy at the bottom. That's why he's at the bottom of the list. Patrick Delves is at the bottom of the list for his <laughs> marketing. Patrick. Has the beer changed any for you? Not, no, not really. Still crisp and refreshing. I'm chugging it, but there's... It's very interesting. Hey, let's do something new. Compare this to the last Pilsner we uh, drank. Drinks. It was The drinks was very complex. There was... Oh, too complex. Oh, yeah, it was too much for us, our simple brains. This is still a Pilsner. That Yeah, the Drake's was not quite a classic Pilsner. This is a classic Pilsner, but with other stuff going on. Yes, Drake's well, was a little too individual. Blue should be the host, and we should be his support team. I'm every Ooh. evil thought you have. Give me your numbers, John. If that's your real name. I'm enjoying it in 95... And I want another 100. 90, 100, yes. Stay tuned for drink three when I will have a raccoon cooling my beer for me. Fact. Greg, prepare to be amazed. I was born amazed. <laughs> that looks like beer three to me. Indeed it is, Sir Gregory. Indeed it is. Well, let me tell you a few things about beer three, people. We ask questions that are relevant to your life when you're drinking this beer. And we answer them. Such as? How many of these would you drink to impress Tina Turner? I mean, these are easy drinking. 5% ABV. I would just keep going. I'm, I don't, couldn't even put a number. 100? What 80 sitcom mom or dad is this beer? It is Mr. Ted Lawson, the dad from Small Wonder. What are you buying this drink for? This is a uh, summer barbecue party at my house. Yeah. Hello there. I'm Mr. Drinky Squirrel. What movie are you pairing with this beer? Or what movie is it? This is uh, Karate Kid, the original. Mouth Ra- Raccio. What food other than barbecue chicken would you pair with this? I would like this with a nice trout dinner. Hmm. With fingerling potatoes on the side. What about you, Greg? What would you pair this beer with, food wise? Pod Thai. Does this replace anything on your alcohol pantheon? And by anything, I mean Pilsners. Pilsners. This might be my new go to Pilsner, Gregory. What about you? Yes. This is my new go to Pilsner. You've had three of these. What are you going to do next? I have a nice uh, sunny day. I want to do some uh, cornhole with the group of people and keep drinking this. Bocce ball. Bocce ball would work. A little bocce out on a nice hot summer day with a group of people with some more of this beer. Greg, what do you want to do? You've had three of these. What do you want to do? You. Just told you. Bocce ball. Greg, what amusement ride is this beer? It's the mummy in Universal Studios. It's, you gotta, it's over fast, and then you're kind of like, that was really cool, but I wish it was longer. I wish the cold amazingness lasted longer. What secondary movie character's backstory oh. or future story is this beer? Greg, this beer, if it were a movie secondary character's backstory, it is Sully from Commando. What are your numbers for beer three? It's beer three. I'm still enjoying this 95. I want another one a 96. 95, 95. This has been Two Cousins Drinking Alluvium California Pilsner from Seismic Brewing. You have been Greg. And you have been JP. And it has been a pleasure, sir.